this video, I'm going to show you a little tip with nickel over how to improve alignment for formation, specifically if you're kind of going to commit to the heavy man pressure blitz meta. I want to show you a little tip uh, on how to improve this. And so uh, we're going to first come out in the Overstorm Brave. The Overstorm Brave is kind of the foundation blitz that this formation is really powerful because of. Um, and I want to show you kind of a, a, a deal. So uh, basically what you're going to do is you're going to pinch your defense and you're going to stand right about here. And if they motion um, out a bunch, let's say they motion, um, you know, let's say they motion Chris Godwin. You'll see here that because we're in man, it's going to follow him relatively well. Um, you see here, we're still in a great, you know, great alignment. We might need to back up this slot because you saw him take a step inside. Um, but by and large, this is still a really good alignment. Okay. Another example of this is going to be whenever we motion Russell Gage. So you see here, the guy's going to follow across. They're going to try to do a little motion snap. And you see this is still, I mean, it's just the best blitz in the game. It's that simple. Now, if you want to get the full defensive ebook on this, make sure you're in our Patreon. $10 gets you access to everything over at the Patreon page. But now I'm going to show you something that can cause this a little bit of problems. And so it's basically this. We're going to motion this tight end across, and I want you to watch what happens. You see that the man assignments basically switch. Now, what you could do is you could just click onto the safety and bring him down as soon as you see that tight end motion. And that's an easy solution. And actually, it's fairly simple and effective. Again, I think that simplicity is really important on defense this year. But what what else we can um, but what what we can also do is this. You'll see here that if I audible to cover one hole. It's got a little bit of a different principle built within the within the play. The safety on the left side, Ryan is now in man coverage on the tight end. This guy is in man on the running back. They have a little bit of a matching concept within this. So if we blitz our linebackers, which is really simple to do, you're going to see we're still getting kind of the same basic thing. Now, we're not getting um, the crashing of the lineman down. You see here, if we crash our line down, that will fix that. Um, but what you'll see now is if I motion this tight end across the formation, you're going to notice that the safety follows him. And now I am able to stay in my primary assignment, which is the running back, as you can see. So what I'm going to recommend, and this also is going to pair very nicely with um, an, ability, an, an ability recommendation that I'm going to make in this video, is if you turn auto flip off, What's going to happen is because you're in a man play, they're going to align properly anyway. So what we want to do is we want to put our best man coverage player here, whoever that is. Whoever we want to cover their tight end, that's where we're going to put him. So, for example, uh, I'm going to put Murphy Buntling in this position, and then this is my user. So I can put whoever I want to use her there uh, because we turned auto flip off. So that means that the formation will never flip. It will never change. The players will always be in the same assignments which is really powerful um, when you're running a man-based defense. So you see here, Murphy Buntling is on the tight end. I'm able to use her this guy. I'm just going to globally blitz my, my linebackers. You'll see here, that's literally the setup. And as you can see, pressure is going to come in super fast. And we have great alignment from our players. This also brings this guy that is normally backed off of the tight end. It also brings him up. And if we show blitz, you'll see it'll bring him up even more. And then if we wanted to back this guy off, we can. And the other thing is, cover one hole is a little bit different. If I audible to overload blitz, I want you to watch the corner on the left. So I audible to overload blitz. I'm going to press. See how he's inside? Now, if I reset my play back to cover one hole, and we're going to, um, I think I just messed this up, but whatever. Let me flip it there. But look at the, look at the guy on the right. See that? He's not, he's not misaligned. He's now properly aligned outside. So now we have basically an, an automatic, really good alignment. Another thing that you're gonna see with this is let's say I motion Godwin. Look at this nickel corner. Notice the nickel corner doesn't sh uh, slide inside like he can ha has been able to do. And so you see here, we get the double pressure and now we've created, I think arguably the best alignment in the game. Now, a slight variation to this that you can do that's also really good is there's another play in here, I believe. LB Blitz 1. So if you look at this, the difference between cover one hole and LB Blitz 1 is that the linebacker is blitzing. 
okay? So it's a subtle thing, but these are like super little things that make a big difference. So when we come out in LB Blitz 1, if you'll notice here, there's already a, a, a logic built within this play that is very similar to Overstorm Brave. So you'll see we can just globally blitz our linebackers. We can crash our line down. And what you'll see is these linebackers are really going to blitz in the proper gaps. Um, whereas with cover one hole, I'll show in a second, sometimes that's not always the case. Um, you still have a really, really good alignment in your coverage. If you look when I motion, we still are able to keep a lot of integrity uh, with our alignment on motion. It doesn't matter if it's motioning the slot. It doesn't matter if it's motioning the tight end. Your players line up significantly better. And you'll notice that you know you could do something like this, really good play. Um, but the beauty is your blitz angles are also in really good, really good shape. So you see it looks a little bit more like Overstorm Brave than the cover one hole play. So I'm going to show you cover one hole. So if you look with me here, this is what LB Blitz looks like, especially when I pinch the defense. I just want you to see it. Um, so you see this is what the play looks like, okay? Now when I audible to cover one hole, uh, and I'm going to do the same thing, I want you to look at this play art. Look at the linemen. See how they're crashing to the outside naturally? So when I blitz my linebackers and I crash my line down because I want to create these looping disengages, it doesn't always happen, but sometimes this guy will kind of blitz into this gap and it will mess the blitz up, um, specifically for when they block a running back. So in this example, you're going to see I think it's going to work fine. Um, you can kind of mess around with this on your own a little bit, but I just think this is a super, super subtle thing that actually makes a massive difference in your defense. The other thing that you get, if you look on the left side, my cornerback is there in that position. If I audible to cover and hole, I want you to watch him. He's going to move just slightly to the outside. See, I moves just slightly to the outside. Um, that's just something, you know, again, just kind of be aware of, of that. Um, just something, but again, you'll see here, um, it doesn't always work out where the blitz properly. That's the biggest thing I wanted to get home with this. Um, in, in the two examples we're showing you, it is working, but just trust me and know that it doesn't always do that. Um, you know, but anyways, other than that, this is a incredible defense. And if you, if you just simply do this, um, now your blitz angles are really, really good. Your coverage is really, really good now behind it. And you're able to say, okay, running back's out on route. I'm going to guard the running back. See everything else is going to be bagged. By the time they get open, you're going to have a sack. So this is a way that you can improve your alignment out of nickel over. If you know you're going to be running a man coverage, you can also stack your abilities. So the ability recommendation is this is just absolutely kills bunch. Um, this guy has inside shade, so the tight end is going to be guarded by a guy with inside shade. This guy has inside shade, so the slot receiver is going to be guarded with a guy with inside shade. I have two edge threats on the outside, so if they block my blitz, then I'm able to you know, get really, really quick pressure. Um, another thing you could consider doing is putting this guy uh, with, a, with a man coverage ability, you know, but I really like the edge threats on the outside. I just think it makes it so much better um, because if they do for whatever reason, um, you know, if they are able to actually block everything that you're doing here pressure-wise, those edge threats will go nuts. You'll get crazy sheds, and they'll be sacked before the routes get open. So that's kind of how uh, I would recommend that. Now I want to show you this real quick against one other formation, um, and that is uh, trips. So... We're going to come out and cover one blitz or LB blitz one pinch defense. And if you look here, now you have, again, this guy would have inside shade. Okay. Now with trips, you might need to move your inside shade to this position, right? Based on tendency, of course. Um, but, you know, you see how good this is. So the guy guarding the best player in the formation is the, is the tight end this year. He's going to have inside shade. So you have really good coverage there, and then you have really good alignment for your blitz, so you're able to just get the blitz to come in super fast, and you're, I mean, it's really hard for them to get anything open. So that's why alignment's so important when running the nickel over. It's really important when running anything, being able to actually line up properly um, and so that your guys aren't gonna get out leveraged, I think is really important. And it's what makes nickel over so powerful. The fact that there's six guys right in the middle, and then you can kind of craft the coverage behind it.